I think the release of Hearthstone is, is really important for Blizzard. At a broader level, it's kind of a step out of our comfort zone. It's not all that big far of a step. You know, it's a Warcraft game, but just being so accessible, right? And that's really exciting. Previous to this, you know, all of our games have been like 50 plus person teams that have been multi-year development cycles. And we really wanted to see, could we make a game that lived up to our epic standards, but is much smaller in scope? We're loosening up a little bit and we're developing, you could say at a smaller scale, but at the same level of quality, the same level of investment, the same level of passion. And what we really wanted to prove to ourselves was that we could still kind of go back to that old garage programmer days of a small team accomplishing something really fun. So we started this uh, team within Blizzard that we called Team 5. And the whole mandate for the team was keep the team very small, and you have to really think of ways to develop a game that might be non-traditional within Blizzard's walls. Uh, it was a team that was put together specifically for this title, and we have about 15 hardcore ninjas who kind of jumped on this. We really want to get a team that were generals, that are almost like old school Blizzard that could wear a lot of different hats and not be as specialized as you know a lot of the, the bigger teams are by necessity. You know, many of us that uh, got our start at Blizzard in the uh, glorious golden age, Back in the day, um, we all came up playing uh, Magic the Gathering and Jihad and all sorts of card games when that, when that scene was really blowing up. So I think there's something really fundamental about TCGs um, to our shop. Anytime that uh, we decide to make a game at Blizzard, it's because we're making a game that we want to play, that we think a lot of the, the Blizzard fans would also be excited to play. We're busy tonight, but there's always a spot for one more. It's quick and easy to learn. Here, let me show you. Hearthstone is a easy, accessible game where it's like playing as one of nine heroes in the Warcraft universe, and it's essentially a collectible strategy game. One of the most exciting things about Hearthstone is how easy it is to get in and play it. It's a game that within five minutes of jumping into the experience, you'll, you'll know exactly how to play, and you can be having fun in that time. Your soul shall be mine! Victory or death! If you're coming to Blizzard for the first time, you'll, this is a game that's for you. If you've been playing Blizzard games for a while now, whether you played World of Warcraft or you played Warcraft back in the day, I think you'll still sort of recognize a lot of the really cool spell effects, really cool class mechanics, things that you kind of really came to love in previous titles that we've released. It's not only a, like a really fun, you know, gameplay in, in and of itself, but it just offers that window into the, the characters and the lands and the, the depth of what Warcraft is. You can put together your deck, play a game, it takes 10 minutes, and then you're out. Really fun. Ah, this is my favorite way to play. So the first of the three ways to play Hearthstone is play mode. And play mode is sort of our base way to play. You go online, you play against another randomly match-made player, and then you can earn medals or packs of cards by playing. After you play games against opponents online, you'll see new card packs show up, and as you open them, you'll get new minions, new spells, and abilities that let you expand your overall collection and types of strategies you can play. How you're building these cards that you're playing against other players with is in a collection manager where you have a huge collection of cards and you're building different cards. I'm putting weapons in, I'm putting abilities in, I'm putting different minions in, and I'm building a powerful deck that I can use to crush my opponent. Now, we also have a practice mode, and this is where you go when you have some kind of cool, interesting deck ideas that you want to test out against the computer, or if you just feel like you need a little bit more time before you jump into the fray. And the idea here is you take whatever that deck is to play against a normal AI and then kind of walk you through the paces of how to play very competitively. When you're ready for it, we also have an expert AI where the real challenge is waiting for you. The third mode is called the Forge, and in the Forge, Building the deck is half the fun. You start out being given a bunch of random cards, and you start choosing which of a set of three different cards you want to put in your deck, and you do that a bunch of times. And then once you've built the deck, you're matched against some other player who's also built a deck in the same way, so it's totally fair. I cannot believe it! You and your deck are unstoppable! One of the phrases that we've thrown around a lot is making games that are epic in quality, but not necessarily epic in scope. And that's exactly what Hearthstone is. Fundamentally, most people think of epic as being really large. 
And I think what we want to do is, is make Epic mean something different. Epic should mean an Epic fun play experience that you want to play for a really long time. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the game itself has to have you know, thousands and thousands of monsters and huge monolithic technology. You know, it's like, do something that's small in scope, but epic in gameplay. It's really where the world's going. And I like that we're, you know, um, getting in step with that. And we're taking risks on, on kind of smaller products that have just, just a high degree of fun and imagination. I believe that people are going to get a big kick out of this product. It's got all the personality and, and quality um, of any of our big games. And uh, I like us in this space. Hearthstone, Heroes of Warcraft. Job's done.